G'day guys, we've got a applications of calculus question here today where we've got the displacement x micrometers at time t seconds of a magnetic particle on a long straight superconductor is given by the rule x equals 5 sine 3t. We're asked to determine the velocity of the particle when t is equal to pi on 2 and determine the rate of change of the velocity when time is equal to pi on 2. Okay, so first of all, what we need to understand, let's start with part, we've got part A here. First of all, what we need to understand is the velocity of a particle with respect to time can be found by taking the differential of displacement with respect to time. So in this case, if we take the derivative of this, so we already have x of t is equal to 5 sine of 3t. So x v of t is equal to, insert some new notation here, x dash of t, just to make it easier for ourselves, which is going to be equal to, well, the derivative of sine is cosine of 3t, and then we times the front by the derivative of the inside function, which is 3, 3 fives at 15. So there is our velocity equation. And then we have to compute velocity when we're at time equals pi over 2. So what we have here is 15 times the cosine of 3 pi, ooh, pi over 2. Cool. Now hopefully you guys are aware that cosine of 3 pi on 2 is equal to 0. So here we have just 15 times 0, which obviously is 0. So v at pi over 2 is equal to 0. Cool. Now let's do the next one. Part b will separate them. Cool. Determine the rate of change of the velocity when time equals pi on 2. So rate of change of velocity is simply acceleration, which is equal to dv dt, which in this case we've got v of t is equal to 15 times the cosine of 3t. So v dash of t is going to be equal to. So the derivative of cos is negative sine. So let's just write negative, and then we've got sine of 3t. And then we multiply the front coefficient by the derivative of the inside, which is 3, 3 15s are 45. Cool. And then what we do is we evaluate a. Oh, well, we, let, we can do this first just to make it easier to understand. A is equal to negative 45 times the, the sine of a 3t. Cool. We then evaluate acceleration when time is equal to pi over 2. And that gives us a solution of or negative 45 times the sine of 3 pi over 2, which is equal to, now the sine of 3 pi on 2 is negative 1, so we have negative 45 times negative 1, and that, my friends, is just equal to 45, now what do we have here, micrometers per second squared, micrometers per second squared. Cool. So, guys, obviously it's important to do that. We can also put micrometers per meter, per, per meter, micro, micrometers per second here. We need to put a meter in here. I've just cocked that up a little bit. Sorry. Micrometers per second squared. Cool. So, 
Here you guys have a question from last year's mathematical methods exam from the West Australian sort of university entrance exams. It's worth six marks. It's not too complicated if you understand the relationship between distance, velocity, and acceleration. Acceleration. So we have displacement, sorry. Velocity is the derivative of displacement with respect to time, and acceleration is the derivative of velocity with respect to time. So once you know, understand how to go up and down from displacement to acceleration and backwards, then you shouldn't have any trouble solving questions of this nature. So guys, I hope this video helped. If it did, you know, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos all the time. But until next time, guys, I'll enjoy your maths and I'll see you soon.